Welcome, I'm Harald Sack. And I'm Sasha Bruns. And this is Knowledge Graphs, lecture number two, basic knowledge graph infrastructure. In this lecture, we will first start about um, discussing about how to identify, distinguish and access SIDs on the web. Of course, and about these things that we access there, we want to make statements. We want to represent and express simple facts, and this can be done with the help of the so-called resource description framework. And to encode this in a way that we can also read it very well, we have the so-called RDF turtle serialization, which is a special kind of serialization, so there are more and further serializations. But for sake of readability, future on in that course we will use RDF turtle to talk about RDF and stuff like that. This will follow with vocabularies and model bin buildings with RDFs. Of course we will not we just we don't just want to um, encode some information. We also want to provide semantics and meaning to, uh, to everything what we are talking about. Exactly. And based on that if we know how to really then create meaningful structures in RDF with the help of RDFs, what we do next is then we are able to also create more complex data structures to aggregate stuff. Again, to increase uh, readability and also to increase the power of RDF. This is then followed by a first excursion, which means this is an add-on on the usual stuff in the lecture. And there we will be talking about RDF reification and RDF star. What's reification? Just imagine you have two alternative statements about the same fact. Which one to trust? So, I don't know. But you should know where each statement comes from, which means you have to give or to do a statement about a statement. And this kind of structure is called RDF reification. And this exactly is what we are going to talk about in excursion number one. And RDF star is a specific dialect or extension of RDF, which addresses exactly this RDF reification. In, the two in, in 2.6 we will talk about superpowers of RDF representations, yes? So we will uh, talk about how to infer new knowledge from the facts what we have there explicit and how to deduce um, knowledge into there. And this exactly is the difference between traditional data structures and semantic data structures. It's the power that a rather generic program, so the reasoner, is then able to deduct new knowledge from existing implicit knowledge and to make it explicit. And last but not least, we have a second excursion here, that's excursion two. There we are talking about RDFA. And there we are going to show you how to include RDF directly into your web page, into your HTML page. Yes, and also in this week we have prepared some additional hands-on sessions for you to practically work on the things we learned this week. The first one is about RDF lib and here we will give you a brief introduction into RDF lib, into RDF serialization and also visualization. And in the next session we will continue and talk about how to manipulate things in the graph how to add new facts, how to remove facts, and so on. So, let's start.